back everybody. This is Water and Wood Stuff channel. I'm Matthew. Today we're going to look at some of the cross tie walls, railroad tie walls, whatever y'all call it, but uh, it's a very versatile material. It's really good for retaining the dirt. We built a lot of walls on here and we're building some more. So we'll start walking around looking at some of it and then we'll see some of it being built. So, hold on, here we go. Now here's the part we're working on now. So right up there beyond the mini excavator is going to be the shop and that area that he's sitting on is going to be the storage area. At one point we're probably going to put some cover over some of that so it'll be some dry storage. And uh, anyway, come down here and turn the corner and we're going back towards the shop. So we got several more layers to put on here. You can see what we're doing here is uh, drill a half inch hole through both pieces and drive a piece of rebar in there. We don't use a sledgehammer. We got that big healthy demo tool there that we made into a, an electric sledgehammer. Pulling the trigger is a lot better than swinging a sledgehammer any day. So we can move the move the pieces they weigh about 200 pounds per piece so we'll do all we can with the machine we'll get this done we'll have an erosion problem fixed we'll have a nice looking area everything's gonna be good just part of living on a hillside in Tennessee you gotta have a little flat spot here and there and this is how you do it. Today we've been working on the, the retaining wall, cross ties, railroad ties, whatever y'all call them. Uh, trying to get a little, a little dirt stabilized for some storage areas and just getting the, getting the Tennessee hillside in a shape that we can use it. So, but sitting on this pile of gold, I can explain that if anybody's bought lumber lately. These two stacks, this one and the one behind me, is 256 pieces of 2x6, 12 foot long yellow pine. Normally I wouldn't want yellow pine as a first choice, but that's what was available at a price that you just have to, you just have to see to believe. So anyway, we've got all the lumber here for framing the walls on the shop. It's going to be a 40 by 70. We've got the concrete walls up about five and a half foot. And then we're going to do 12 foot on top of that with framing. And the siding is going to be determined later. We're going to see what we can come up with. It'll probably be metal walls just for uh, convenience to get it dried in quicker such as that. The trusses are ordered, they're on the way, they'll be here in about a week. But uh, 
Anyway, we're getting getting all of our materials together. We're fixing to start framing on that. And um, in the meantime, we're working on these walls, trying to get everything everything shored up. We got to do some. We've got to do some erosion control. Uh, water's not going in the direction I want it to, so we've got to change a few grades and move some slopes, and we'll get it how we want it eventually. So, but that's going to about wrap this up today. Hope there's uh, something worth seeing. We tried to do a little more work than filming today, and uh, maybe we'll do better later. I've got some new camera equipment on order. Been losing some of my footage with the GoPro, and there's no good way to say it. Something happens, and the footage don't don't. It's just not there when I go to look at it. So, anyway, right now you're looking at this on a DJI Osmos action camera, and everybody says it's the way to go for the small cameras. Hopefully, we'll get. Um, We'll get the better cameras going. I've got I've got another another setup coming uh, for the shop. It'll be a surprise. We'll talk about that later. That's going to be it for today. See y'all next time.